Hey, what's up folks? John here with BOIS. I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration today for those uh, customers that are using IQ Option Broker. I highly recommend this broker for the BOIS system. It works very well, has good fast execution, good payouts, and uh, it's easy to navigate. It's just very easy to set up and get started on. So what I'm going to do here is just give you a quick demonstration of how to have your system set up so what you want to do is you want to select I, I recommend either the black or the gray um, I just like the gray because it's just clean interface scale 80% so you can see all your tabs easily and then your trading you want to uh, go ahead and have these two checked always show purchase amount in the chart and show the ask bid price in the chart you don't need this one, you don't need this or this one. Um, dotted line, I don't know. You can choose that or not, it's up to you. And you want to buy options with a single click. Close options with a single click. You don't want any delays, any confirmations, because that's going to mess you up. And you want to open new trades in the same tab. You don't want a new tab opening every time you do a re-entry on a position. So those are the things you need to set up in here. Okay, you want to select five minutes tab because if you select like later, it just it gets difficult to see exactly what's happening in the moment of the of the price action on the chart. So for example, when you see something like this, the sharp arrow usually indicates the price is going to go up. And, uh, sharp arrow on the top usually indicates the price will go down. And I discourage the use of any sort of indicators, graphical tools, using bars, using whatever, Jigma Jazz, you know, it's just going to confuse you, it makes the chart very cluttered, and it's just very, it's just not helpful. I actually had a day where I was using someone else's um, demo for a day just to show them how the system worked, and I was just found it very difficult to trade using you know, the, the candlesticks and stuff, it just, I find that using the area like this, coupled with the MT4 chart, it just gives a very nice setup because you can be able to see the area on the broker window and then you got your candles on in your analysis on your MT4, so it works out very well. And you want to have this, these two windows open so you can see your open and your trade history now to set up your tabs what you can do is click new then type a u j or, uh, a u d j boom just like that then a u d u for your audio d so it's very easy you're odd you're all jpy USD, SDCAD, USDCHF, USDJPY. So eventually you can memorize all the pairs so you don't have to check the MT4. Because what's annoying about this is that um, it'll tend to replace some pairs when pairs are not open and stuff like that. So you'll have to do like this, and what can end up happening sometimes is you see you'll get like a Bitcoin in here or something, so you'll have to close everything from here over and reload them again so that everything will be sorted A to Z because unfortunately there's no sorting function here, so you have to do it manually. So if you get, you know, hero USD gets in somewhere in here, so you have to close everything except for the first one and reopen like I just showed you so that's kind of how it works and you can have you know a couple options here as far as navigating your setup you need to do full screen you know you jump from repair here you got your signal go in here USD CHF just like that bam fast easy or you can do side by side options you click that 
move it over and put it like so. Uh, I actually like to put it like this because you don't need that stuff on the buttons on the side there so you can have more space. And set it up like this. Get it wide enough to be able to see at least most then make sure on the 80% like so and you can see here at least enough to be able to easily navigate like so like I said if uh, you need to open a new position you can because I put that set up so that trade will enter on the same tab you don't have to have because you can only have nine tabs as well so so yeah, I can see here, boom, open a new position, just like that. And it should have been a two, but anyway, this isn't really a trading demo, this is more of a setup demo. Okay, so then you can click this, drag it over like this, get it set up, zoom out a little bit. Just like that, and then if you have a position where you need to check the big picture, you just click this, zoom out, find your SR, then click go back again like that. Same thing here. If you need to, you know, see something, you can just click that, click that, go on back and forth, just like so, and put this right around here, or to be able to see but like that okay so that's it um, yeah just keep this make sure this is clicked because sometimes it can get you know move around and you should be good to go so happy trading thanks for watching